Hello, Grumpy Old Fart here. Yeah, we're going to explore some good stuff now. TV series. Here we go. Some of the best television ever produced by one of the greatest creators ever, Gene Roddenberry, and I'm talking about Star Trek. I'm going to do several series here that we're going to start with the granddaddy. Star Trek, the original series. This ran from in, for three seasons from 1966 to 1968, and oh my God, it was wonderful. People look at it today and go, oh, this is crazy, stupid science fiction, cheesy, you know, bad special effects. Blah, blah. You have to understand, back in the 60s, they didn't have computers. They couldn't do all the CGI that they can do now. For a, a computer, they had a box with blinking lights, and it talked, you know. Um, little tape decks you could put in there and hit the button and, and make it work. So, yeah, it was, it, it, it by today's standards, yeah, it's a little cheesy. But you know what? If all you have is a blinking a, a box with blinking lights and that's your computer and somebody off off camera making the, the voice noises, you know, speaking and what all, um, it says something about the actors. You have to be able to perform. You have to perform knowing you're talking to a freaking blinking box, okay? A box with blinking lights on it. So, in my opinion, that says a lot about the original cast. And these people are iconic. Gene Bar this is Gene Roddenberry's original masterpiece, which depicts a positive future for mankind. It's not a nuclear wasteland, and it's not a post-apocalyptic bullshit. It's, we're going to make it into space. We're going to meet alien life forms, and we're going to do it because we're smart and innovative, and we do things, and we can work together because we're human, and we're badass. Okay, yeah, I said it, we're badass, and we're all the same we're all equal doesn't matter if you're black doesn't matter if you're white doesn't matter if you're chinese it doesn't matter if you're korean it doesn't matter if you're from mongolia doesn't matter if you're from south africa or or, or sweden or or brazil it doesn't matter we're all human we're all identical we all have that same potential and we can do this we can make this we, we can get into space we can do this this can be real for us this is like 300 years into the future and by then, yeah, we got spaceships and we're exploring the stars because that's what humans are. We explore. We explored everything on Earth. Now we're heading out into space. That's what this boils down to. In the 23rd century, Captain Kirk and his crew aboard the USS Enterprise explore the galaxy and defend the United Federation of Planets against different hostile aliens and life forms and weird shit. Um, this is iconic, positive science fiction. And anybody who doesn't like this, there's something wrong with them. There's something seriously wrong with them. Period. The cast here, these people are iconic. I probably don't need to mention them, but I'm going to. William Shatner plays Captain James Tiberius Kirk. Leonard Nimoy plays Mr. Spock, the half-Vulcan science officer, first officer. And we got DeForest Kelly, who plays Dr. McCoy, the ship's chief medical officer. Uh, Nichelle Nichols, one of the all-time great, iconic female heroines, science fiction heroines. Uh, she plays uh, uh, Neota Uhura, Lieutenant Uhura, the communications officer. Go check out some of my other videos. I talk about her. Um, James Doohan, my absolute favorite character from this series. He plays Montgomery Scott, the chief engineer. Man can fix anything. He can build or fix anything. Uh, George Takei plays the uh, helmsman Hikaru Sulu. Walter Koenig plays Pavel Chekhov, a Russian in the Cold War back in the 60s on a spaceship. Yeah, that's how innovative and, and, and far-reaching this was. We, we were fighting a Cold War with the Russians, and we had a Russian on a spaceship. Imagine that. Uh, Majel Barrett played Nurse Chapel, and she you'll see her later in Star Trek The Next Generation. She plays uh, uh, Luxana Troy, Counselor Troy's mother. Uh, this is classic and iconic television. If you want an if you want intelligent content with action, adventure, and morality that promotes learning and scientific technology, have your entire family watch this series. Okay, there are so many, so many scientists and engineers and big names at NASA, research people, medical people, and they all say, I became this because I watched that, Star Trek. 
I cannot stress this enough. This is one of my absolute favorite TV series of all time. If, you, if you've if you not seen it, I don't know what rock you've been hiding under, but get out of there because you're missing a lot. If you have seen it, go back and watch it again because you haven't seen it enough. It's not possible to see it enough. <laughs> you folks have a good day. God bless one and all.